Hi, I'm Aaron from Data Classroom, and I'm going to introduce you to one of the main features of Data Classroom, which is graphing. So let me show you how to graph. Here we are with a data set open in the table view. First step is to go up here where you see the two tabs that say table and graph and switch it over to graph. And you can see where I'm clicking with my red circle. So I click on graph and I'm now in the graphing window. Now to get started, you just need to choose which graph type you want to make, pie chart, a histogram frequency plot or dot plot, scatter plot, categorical bubble. I'm going to make a dot plot, a jitter dot plot. And to do that, I'm just going to pick a variable I'm interested in, say height. I'm going to click the show button. I click that and that's it. One click and I have a graph. Now, what you see here in a dot plot, each row in the data set is represented with the data point. So you can see the height. Now, the control panel at the right, it shows that I've got height showing on Y, and that's indicated by that red Y, but it gives me other options. I can do things like control the jitter, the horizontal spread of the points. I can make that spread out or bring those points together. I can also add descriptive statistics. So if I click this checkbox for descriptive stats, now you can see I'm getting this median-based box and whiskers plot, where the line in the middle is showing the median, the box is the interquartile, and the whiskers are showing the range entirely. Now, now, I can show these data as a, uh, a different type of graph entirely. So I go up to the icons and say, I want to show a histogram. So I click here. And now you can see the same data as a histogram. And you can see the, the box and whiskers plot that I had showing is moved uh, horizontally above the graph. So you can still see where that median lies in relation to the distribution of the data. So this is great for showing kids uh, how you can visualize the same data in multiple ways. Now, I'm going to go back to my dot plot. And I'm going to add a second variable, maybe hand span. This is the, the measurement from thumb to pinky when spread out. So I'm going to add that to the plot. And so now we can see hand span versus height. And we can see what's showing over here with the red X and the red Y. And I can flip that around if I want to. Um, I can also do things like add a regression line You know, with this checkbox that appears here. And I can add a regression line. Now, I also have a lot of capabilities to customize the appearance of this graph. So if I want to customize the appearance, it's this big blue button right here, appearance, and it opens this menu. And I'm just going to move my face right here. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to scroll through this appearance menu and I can change a lot of things. I can change things like point color and I get this menu and say, you know, maybe we will do like these light blue points. Um, and I can change point size just with these plus and minus. I can see what it looks like with great big fat points, or I can shrink these, these down a bit and we'll go with maybe some smaller points that I have, maybe about right there. Um, you can also do things like I can add a title to my graph. So if I click this add title, you can see then I get this click to edit title above the graph. And I can just type in here, you know, whatever I want this to say, I'll just make it say title. So you can see there's there's my title. I can control font size, color, um, all, all sorts of things uh, I can affect the appearance of. I'm a, I can even represent my data points with, with emojis up here with data emoji, but I'm gonna close this. And once you have a graph that you like and you want to uh, export this somewhere else, say a Google doc, a Word doc, a PowerPoint, a Prezi, wherever you wanna put this, uh, if you click this camera icon, this will copy this image to the clipboard. And then I just click copy and done. And now that graph is on my clipboard. I can just paste that wherever I'm working. And so that's just a quick introduction to graphing with Data Classroom. It can do a lot more than that, but hopefully I've got you started. And with that, I will say happy graphing.